hello everyone in this video i'll be covering the link budgeting that is to calculate the signal to noise ratio for a given link that is for an uplink as well as downlink when the parameters are specified to start with the first parameter we need to identify and calculate for a given link is eirp which is effective isotropic radiated power which is nothing but the power product of transmitted power into the gain of the transmitting antenna in dbs it is eirp is equal to the power of the at the input of an antenna p plus the gain of the antenna the next parameter we may be required to calculate at many places is the gain of an antenna when we are given the dimensions of an antenna the gain is given by eta pi d by lambda the whole square or eta 10.472 fd the whole square in the second case the f is in gigahertz and d is in meters and in the first expression we can directly express d is meters and lambda in meters for an antenna normally the eta varies from 0.55 to 73.73 .73. now let's solve one problem to calculate the eirp uh, when we are given the transmitting power and the dimensions of an antenna the first thing that we do is we calculate the gain of a transmitting antenna and eirp is 10 log of the transmitting power plus 10 log of the gain so substituting the values we get eirp as 56.7 db watt sometimes in the problem they even ask you to give the value in dbm so what we have to do is to convert the value from db watts to dbm is only add 30 to it let's solve one more problem in this we are asked to calculate the loss for an uplink operating at 6 gigahertz with a distance of 42,000 kilometers if es um, earth station eirp is 120 db watt what will be the received power so received power we should always remember is nothing but transmitted power minus the losses Transmitted power is EIRP that is PT into GT and the losses since no other loss is specified the losses are free space losses. We have already seen in the previous video how to calculate the free space losses. The formula for free space losses is 4 pi RF by C the whole square. So substituting our values in the formula for the losses we calculate the received power which is minus 80.4 db watts since he is asking you the power in dbm we need to add plus 30 to convert the db watts into dbm which is minus 50.4 dbm now let's come to finally deriving the expression of the received power so this slide shows a total com satellite communication link for an uplink uplink is from earth station to the satellite we can see pt is being transmitted there are certain losses associated at the, in this which are nothing but the free space losses uplink losses the polarization losses the transmitting antenna has a gain of g antenna the receiving antenna has a gain of gs antenna and some other losses so what we have to do is the received power p pr is pt g antenna into g s antenna divided by the losses so this will be the signal power this losses may not only be because of the free space losses but because of atmospheric absorption antenna misalignment polarization feeder losses free space losses as we have already seen in our previous videos and similarly for a downlink it will be the formula will be the same only thing is now the transmitting power will be from the satellite and the receiving power point will be the earth station so now we come to the derivation of a signal to noise density we remember the noise density is kt the signal power is already we have seen so c by n in db is c minus n zero 
so gain to equivalent noise temperature sometimes in the problem you will be given g by t equivalent that is just a representation which are normally provided in the data sheets so we have to use it in our file solving the equation which is nothing but the gain of the antenna divided by the equivalent temperature which is g minus t e the unit for g by t is db per kelvin so total signal to noise ratio for a given uplink will be pt g antenna gs antenna divided by losses divided by kte so this will be our total signal to noise ratio as we can see it is eirp plus g by te minus the losses minus 10 log of k as we can clearly see it was kte so instead of k minus 10 log of k minus 10 log of t we directly use the term g by te which will be already specified in the numerical now let's solve one problem on a link budgeting so we are given the parameters with respect to the uplink and downlink for both uplink and downlink we need to calculate the signal to noise ratio so we will be simply substituting these values in our previous for derived formula and calculate c by n for an uplink separately and c by n for a downlink separately here you will find out one additional term back off as i had already told you in the losses that back off is reduction in the power level so it will come as minus back off or will be the part of the losses equation So uh, let's solve it using our formula. First, we'll calculate the PT, GT, then minus the losses. Then to get our expression of C by N by substituting the values, we get as 106.2. Similarly, for a downlink, the values given to us, we will simply substitute and get C by N as 100.5 dB. In the question, uh, we were asked uh, uplink uh, C by N, downlink C by N and also we need to calculate C by N total which we uh, already have seen in the video as the way to calculate the C by N total. The values are in dB, they need to be converted to the normal scale, then we will get C by N total minus uh, inverse equal to C by N uplink inverse plus C by N downlink inverse and we will be able to get the C by N total. Now one more representation that you will come across is the same equation of C by N which we have derived taking the power being transmitted from a transmitting station instead of PT in terms of power flux density. So power flux first let us define the power flux density. Power flux density is the power divided by 4 pi r square where r is the distance between the transmitting station and the receiving station. Now what we will do is we will simply uh, write EIRP in terms of the flux density. So we know uh, uh, psi is power being transmitted is PTGT that is EIRP divided by 4 pi r square. So uh, writing the equation of psi it is EIRP plus 10 log of 1 by 4 pi r square. We remember that the free space losses is 10 log of 4 pi by lambda square. Just representing that uh, equation, we get FSL minus FSL as 10 log of lambda square by 4 pi plus 10 log of 1 by 4 pi r square. So, in the equation of in the equation of psi, we will replace 10 log of 1 by 4 pi r square with fsl and 10 log of lambda square by 4 pi so our equation becomes psi equal to eirp minus fsl minus 10 log of lambda square by 4 pi the term lambda square by 4 pi is uh, is uh, called the effective area of an isotropic antenna and therefore we can write the expression of eirp in terms of psi as eirp equal to psi plus fsl plus a naught now what we'll do is the same expression of c by n the power being transmitted that we have derived previously we'll simply sub replace 
EIRP with the expression that we have derived and the equation now we can see that C by an uplink becomes EIRP saturation of an uplink minus back off plus G by T minus losses plus K replacing EIRP by the expression of psi that is psi plus A naught plus losses minus feeder losses minus back off plus G by 2 E of uplink minus losses of an uplink minus K the equation of C by N both the losses losses gets cancelled and we get psi C by an uplink equal to psi plus A naught minus RFL minus back off plus G by T minus K we see that G RFL is not cancelled because these losses that we have considered is when the signal is traveling from one point to another so these losses basically are taking into account the signal traveling through the free space but not the losses that occur at the point of connection and therefore these losses remain but all the other losses gets cancelled now let's solve one problem to understand it better so on a satellite link at l band saturation flux density of a transponder is assumed to be minus 90 db watt per meter square based on the following data find eirp and c by n so we know what is the formula for eirp psi plus a naught plus losses minus rfl first we calculate a naught and then we calculate C by N is Psi plus A naught minus RFL minus back off plus G by T uplink minus K. K is the Boltzmann constant which is minus 228.6. Substituting these values we get C by N as 96.067. These are few practice problems which I would recommend all of you to solve. I have given the hint as what are the formulas that you need to use to solve these. So try them and if you have any doubts you can come back to me to resolve it. Thank you.